Hello, I'm Blizznub, and welcome to Building the Best. Today we're going to be looking at the Kogaki, as requested by William Cotton about three months ago. I, I forget exactly, but I've been putting this one off for a while, primarily because I didn't know what to do with them. Now, the Kogaki are strange. They are very low damage, very high attack speed, and otherwise fairly... eh. I mean, well, I say that they were fairly eh. But with the addition of Blood Rush and Body Count to the game, 20% crit chance is now viable for a crit build. So this weapon becomes rather simple to build, in fact, and quite interesting to see in action. So I have gone for a basic combo crit build. And we have here, of course, we start off with Pressure Point, as always, for base damage. And then we have Blood Rush and Body Count for combo duration and crit chance on the counter. And we move on to Fury and Berserker, obviously Berserker stacking off the Blood Rush for ridiculous amounts of attack speed, Organ Shatter for crit damage, and we have Heavy Trauma and Fever Strike on here for damage, but honestly, replace both of these which, with whichever particular elemental combination you prefer. I mean, Heavy Trauma could easily be replaced with any elemental mod, so could Fever Strike. But I've gone for this because the 165% to impact damage is quite a lot. That's quite good, to be blunt. So I thought that was worth building off. And especially given that I'm going to be testing this thing up against Corpus, impact, toxin, not half bad. So what we get in the end is about 200 damage, 3.8 times multiplier. And we're going to be dealing... We're going to be dealing crits pretty much all of the time after we get the combo counter up to two times. So this follows the pattern of all of my recent builds with Blood Rush and Body Count being the mods of choice. These mods really making a lot of builds very, very interesting that weren't before. So our attack speed is going to go up to almost 2.0. And given that sparring weapons are particularly fast anyway, this could be quite interesting. And it's fair to say that I did consider dropping off Fever Strike from this build for a... Shattering Impact, that's the name of the mod, but decided against it because honestly, well, I mean, apart from the fact that I'm testing it against uh, Corpus, honestly, it's an impact damage weapon. If I'm going up against anything with armor, I'm doing myself a disservice to be taking it. So, anyhow, I'm going up, <laughs> I'm doing a level 100 Eczema sortie. I mean, this is a tier 3 sortie, so I'm not actually expecting the Kagaki to deal with these enemies that well, but I am expecting it to be kind of impressive. Yeah, so this is, sorry, a level 100 Xmas stronghold, not sortie, that's what I meant to say. So, now, the equipped combo is somewhat um, difficult <laughs> to aim, so I'm actually going to be using the unequipped combo for all of this, but we can see straight off the bat just how fast this weapon is immediately maxing out the Berserker procs and getting ridiculous amounts of hits in incredibly fast and okay that isn't quite working I have actually bound a uh, mouse wheel up as one of my melee attack buttons and it it works quite well for some things but it actually isn't fast enough to keep up with the Kagaki's incredible attack speed so this thing will deal very well with a lot of things but cameras is not one of them. Cameras are not one of them. Now, to be fair, you can put on Primed Reach on the Kagaki just as an ease of use. Uh, a quality of life mod, and it does help it quite a lot. But at the same time, again, I would I would stress that anything, honestly, that you're... Yeah, if you're hoping to take on groups with this weapon, it's not the right melee, really for taking on groups. This weapon is for beating down a single target incredibly fast. And it does that with gusto. It really does. My word. Honestly, this is making short work of pretty much everything I go up against them. Just realizing it's going to be a minute or two until we get techs, so I don't know what else to say about this weapon. Oh, there we go. So yeah, we're dealing with level 80s with relative ease and we're getting quite a lot of red crits because I'm up to a three times multiplier already. You can see when I equip the weapon. And honestly, that is what makes this fantastic, is the amount of hits you get in with each swing means that you're going to be building up that combo so fast 
This is probably one of the few weapons I would say that you should expect a 3 times combo multiplier as your sort of standard amount. And there we go. As I said, I didn't really think I would survive like this. No, I didn't. I said the Kagaki wouldn't do well for itself, and it has done. But, yeah, I did not honestly expect to survive like this, because, of course, nullifiers. And these are level 80 to 90 enemies. I'm going to be taking a lot of damage. Anyhow, let me see if I can deal with that BP real quick. So that I can iron skin up again. Where is he? By the by. Where is that? I honestly do not see... Oh, there he is. Okay. Alright. I believe. Oh, I, I no longer believe. <laughs> Although, I did just kick him somewhere and I have no idea where he landed. Yep, that's that's about... <laughs> wow. That's about right. Anyhow, that's pretty much all I have to say. The Kagaki are an incredible weapon, but honestly if you're going to be taken to the sortie, bring weapons to support them. They are intended for melting an individual target very fast. They're not intended for taking on things that can melt you extremely fast, if that makes sense. Not intended for taking on large groups of enemies or bosses. Anyhow, I am really sorry this has been a bit of a weird one, but there it is. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching my abject failure with an admittedly awesome build. Anyhow, thank you for watching. As always, please like and comment below and subscribe if you want to see more, even though it was a bit of a failure on my part. Anyhow, I'm Bliznub and this is, of course, the Kagaki.